Hello, Stevies. We're back on the motorcycle again. It is January 15th, two days in a row in January. You know <laughs> you know where they're not riding at? What? Up in Two-Wheeledville. <laughs> <laughs> so we're out here on the bikes today, and Miss Stevie's in the back for one reason only. It's because I don't want to show you her bike yet. I'll show you here in just a minute when we turn this corner. It's so pretty. So almost two years ago now, we went into Frontier Harley-Davidson. They had a huge sale, and we found something for Miss Stevie's bike. Right. So we thought, you know what, we're going to jump on that. And it's always been on a bucket list of mine for a future thing. I didn't think it was going to come this quick. <laughs> so anyway, so she got it, and then, uh, and then some things in our life happened, and it was almost a year and a half before we got it put on. I could have done it, but she was in there getting some warranty work done. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, in the last video when I said she wanted to go to Frontier and get her bike, uh, this is why. So, wait till there's no cars coming. <laughs> I'm gotta, excited! We've got to get a good shot out of it. Okay, go ahead. Miss Stevie got the boom boom. <laughs> You did. All right. and it is so nice. I love it. Now drop two gears and take off. Drop two gears? Drop two gears and take off. It would have been way cooler if you'd have done it right where you were next to me. Does it feel a lot louder in the on the bike? Oh yeah. Does it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Miss Stevie got a full exhaust system. Basani um, fish, Basani fishtails, and the thing about it is they were in the box on the half price deal, and we were talking to Zach at Frontier, and we're like, hey, are those chrome? And he goes, no, they're black. And we're like, oh, okay. Then he opened up the box, and he said, nope, they're chrome. They're labeled wrong. <laughs> I was like, oh. He's like, man, we could have probably sold these a long time ago if they weren't labeled wrong, but they were still half off, and I said, okay, how long are they? And he goes, I don't know. So we had them sitting in the garage for a year and a half. But you know, seriously, I kind of forgot about them. Yeah, they didn't sell. Oh, I did too, because I had to move them like 900 times. <laughs> but so we took her bike in to get some warranty work done. And I said, hey, guys, I don't have time to put these on. Can you guys just do it? And they're like, yes, we'll do it. Thank you, folks at Frontier. We went there to go look at it for the first time. And we had no idea how long they were going to be. And they could have been as long as they are now. They could have been a little bit shorter. They could have been three feet past the end of her bike. <laughs> I'm glad they're not. We, we had absolutely no clue at the size of these pipes, uh, but I think it worked out really, really good. This is really the first time I've really ridden it since they were put on. I mean, other than going and getting my bike. I know that being in a car next to it, it's loud. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> So how far do you think we're going to go? It's 48 degrees. Uh, there's a lot of humidity, though, so it's a cold 48 degrees. Um, it's going to be up to Miss Stevie how far we go. Because, yeah. like I said in the last video, folks, she has <laughs> heated pants. She has a heated liner. She has heated gloves. She is wearing the heated gloves. She is wearing the heated liner, but she's not wearing the heated pants. I wanted to test out my my chaps. Yeah, They're but, new. Yeah, she does Her. have new chaps on, though. You're looking good. I can tell you that. Thanks. But I will say, I'm okay. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> it, it would help, probably, if I turned the, the heat on on my gloves. <laughs> probably a little bit. So one thing I will say yesterday, those uh, soft blowers I had on here made a huge difference. Did it? Yeah. Uh, Except for the so, uh -oh. fire. Huh? Except for the fire. Except, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except for the melting of the strap. That probably helps good when you're riding in the rain, too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Well, the That'll ones I'm going to get you are really easy to take on and off. Oh, oh, first, first time on the interstate with a new bike. I'm not used to that. I'm not used to being able to hear your bike over mine. 
I can hear it even. It's nice. <laughs> it's loud. I can't wait to see what it looks like on video. That's awesome. You're so excited for your bike and your pipes. Isn't it crazy how you can just change something? You'll learn to love it like it was new again. I'm pretty sure that this bike, as of right now anyway, is done. I can honestly say that I've never been able to say that one month after I got a bike. Granted, I had a lot of the stuff all ready to do it. <laughs> wow. Alright, Miss TV, it's time to talk about something else now. What? What are you doing in the month of July? <laughs> I am headed to Milwaukee first. Four. So I'm going to go to the 120th Harley Davidson anniversary party. So if I would have turned left back there, where would we have gone? Ashland. Oh, why are we going so slow? Because you're following this guy instead of passing him? I could totally pass him right here, but <laughs> illegal. Mm. Oh, sorry, I'm passing. You're a really good leader. But you, <laughs> you, uh -uh. you know, you did a good job. Okay, so you are going to go to the 120th anniversary party in Milwaukee. Yes. And then from there, and then I you're am... just going to come home, right? <laughs> no. No. no that's going to start it all off. And this, guys, this is for work. So, so life, yeah, it's, it's not tough. a, yeah, it's yeah, horrible. It's bad, I commute every day to my office and my house is just all so. All right, hard. squirrel. <laughs> so, after um, Milwaukee, I'm going to head over to Pontiac, Illinois, and that is going to start the trip for Route 66. Wait, wait a second. You're telling me you're going to leave home, me and your son, <laughs> you're going to leave us I am. on your motorcycle for work to go to a motorcycle event, which is the 120th anniversary of Harley Davidson in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And then after that, that's not enough. Then you're going to go <laughs> down to Chicago and jump on Route 66. Yes. And then you're going to ride Route 66, what, maybe to what, Missouri or something? No, all the way to the end. All the way to the end. You know the end is in California. Yep. So hold on a second. <laughs> you're going to leave home, me and your son. You're going to leave us at home. For work. <laughs> you're going to go to Milwaukee, Wisconsin for the 120th anniversary of Harley Davidson. And then, after that's over... You're going to go down to Chicago. You're going to jump on Route 66. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Lost you. Siri thought I was talking to her. <laughs> You're going to go through all those states, end up in California. With a bunch of friends. Huh. For work. Where am I going to be? You're going to be at home working. Oh, okay. Right but this is I, my right this is I my belong, job, right? <laughs> you can follow along. Oh, thank you. I'm sure I'm going to get some footage like I did last time on the world record <laughs> poker run and say, "Here, can you make a video out of this?" <laughs> no, no, I can't because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a mess. No, I'm 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 happy that uh, you're going to get to do all this. So, Miss Stevie, I have a question. If somebody else said that they wanted to go on this cavalcade of fun with you, are they allowed to go with you, or are you just going to go with just your friends and that's it? Oh, no, it's open. Open event for anybody to register only until we have 150 riders sign up. So if anybody wants to come with, that would be fantastic. Um, you can just go online to supportbikers.com, and underneath the tab for our epic rides and events, um, you can go ahead and sign up there, and you can also choose to sponsor the ride. You can choose to um, put your logo on the trailer that's going to be going with us. That's huge advertisement for you guys if you guys have a channel that you want to get out there or a business, micro-owned business. Yeah, it's going to be fun. 
I think last time I looked, we had almost 50 people signed up. Wow. 50 people to go all the way across the mother road. Right. That's pretty flipping cool. But we have a nice crew set up where we're, we're working on hotels and getting all of that lined up. Um, it's going to be a passport run, so you can choose to get one of the passports and then get your passport stamped along the route. And that's going to be very fun, very cool. On top of that, I even had a phone call with Glenn from Tulane Life. And that was a fun conversation. But Stevie and I have watched a lot of their videos and watched how they have gone on Route 66. And especially in Arizona, they hit a lot of areas where, where it was very interesting to me. So I also put that into our notes for the crew. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to stop at some of those places too. It's a fun job. Because after that, I'm going to come home for a little while. And then I'm going to leave again for Sturgis. Oh, really? <laughs> Do right. me. Didn't I tell you about that? Absolutely not. Those are the events that I'm going to be going on this year. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you're going to segue out of that one. Did I tell you about that? No, you didn't. Oh, that's the stuff I'm doing. <laughs> so, guys, if you want to know any more about that, drop a comment below and I can get in touch with you. Get you all the details. If she watched the video and if she reads the comments. I will. Mm -hmm. You can help to tell me if there's any comments. <laughs> oh, no, 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 ma'am. Or you can send me a private message. <laughs> Just let me know when you put this video out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I always get a notification when you post videos, so I never I'll be able know. To I never know up. when I'm going to put a video out anyway. You know it what amazes me with the Milwaukee 8? What? Is back there with my twin cam, I would have gotten on it just a little bit, and there would have been just a little bit of a hesitation at the beginning. Why? Because I bogged it down a little bit. Oh. This bike just takes off and goes. Get some shots of Miss Stevie's bike with her new exhaust on it. Ooh, lots of gravel. I know you guys are all probably dying to see it. So, Miss Steve, cavalcade of fun that you're going to have this summer without me. Do you have anybody that you know, like maybe some local people that are going with you? Yes, yes. Stephanie Scott is going with. From Married on Two Wheels, a new channel to YouTube. Really? Is that what they're calling it? I didn't even know that. Oh my gosh. I'll leave That's that out awesome. for the parody. Why? <laughs> they said that they weren't going to do a channel. Yeah. Well, they lied. I, I love it. I love it. Love the name. Okay, so Stephanie's going, um, and my good friend Jen Nelson is also going. I know she is bringing a friend, Amanda, and I don't. Hold on, don't... No, hold on. You gotta, you gotta lay the scene here, though. You and Jen are twinsies. Yes, yes, we are. You guys You're have right. the same bike. Yes, two we do. different takes on it, put yep. together two different ways, but uh, both very cool. Yes, and she is like a. A riding crazy lady I mean and when I say crazy she's going everywhere before, she has put a ton of miles before she goes to Milwaukee yes she is going to go into Michigan to the northern part of Michigan around the UP and then around uh, the lake and then come down into Wisconsin and come down into Milwaukee that's cool that is really cool good on her. Am I alone here now? Oh, I was just going to let you just oh, tell it all. Sorry. <laughs> I sorry, was going to well, go I into that, but that's I okay. I didn't want to leave it out. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. And one of her friends, Amanda, is going to go also. I don't believe that I have had, um, I have met Amanda yet, but I'm looking forward to meeting her. And then Sandra, McGinnis said that she was going to register. I haven't seen that she registered yet, but that can always change. So, I mean, there's going to be 
a good time the one this year. Not that it wasn't last year, but it's just going to be different. It's going to be so different in a good way. There are other people from Nebraska that are going to. So as people sign up, I just get more and more excited because this is what it's all about. The biker community is awesome. And it's just a whole different world for me. And I just love it. Yeah. I wish I would have done it so many years ago, but... And I get excited for her to leave. I get a house to myself. Huh. I get to sleep in my bed all by myself. Well. But I get to sleep in my bed all by myself every night. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> we still sleep in the same room. <laughs> it's just stupid. <laughs> she wants, this Stevie wanted to be able to elevate her bed. We had an adjustable bed before, but... Uh, I can't sleep with my head up or my feet up. I gotta lay flat. So Miss Stevie said, "We need a king bed that we can adjust separate." Well, <laughs> that means you have two separate beds with and the I same did not blanket on that. top of it. That's all. The, <laughs> that's the only difference. Is that I you don't get like it. The same sheets and the same blanket. I mean, I like it, but I don't. It's just <laughs> I don't know. Which one do you trade with? Well, apparently, we trade with getting two beds. Yes. <laughs> We have no choice right now. Nope. We're not oh, cheap, man. so. Look at this view. Uh, ice out there. Car pulled over here, a little suspicious looking. You know they're smoking weed. Yep, totally smoking weed. Man, that thing grunts. <laughs> My bike used to be the grunty one. I can hear it, though, now. Before, I couldn't hear it. I hope you can hear it. <laughs> Mine sounds like yours used to. I don't think we've ever just rode through here without stopping. I don't think so. Kind of nice. But we are going to stop right up here. Oh, I know that. <laughs> Did you want to go there? No. Because we're already by it. No, I don't <laughs> want anywhere. I want to be able to try to stop my drone when it flies off by itself before it goes into a lake. Okay, so... River. What are all these oh. cars doing here? I don't know. What the What in the deal? world is going on, people? Go home. You're not allowed to be here. It is cold out. Why are these people out? Because Probably it is. saying the same thing about us. It is one of the nicer days of the year so far. Oh, I'm still warm. You know what's awesome? What? When you stop your bike and you don't have to worry about it being on fire. <laughs> you overlook that when it's the other way, you know? So what oh, do they call? Oh, yeah, you guys. This is the bike with the pack on it. with your new pipes yep. pretty excited about them i am it makes I love it them. it makes it went from like that nostalgia look to like the classic nostalgia look yeah. like it's perfect and at some point i do want to you know add the front tire and stuff but what front tire <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we talking about now to the front tire to make it really look right the wheel yeah, that's what I mean. The wheel. It's a pretty good idea, I think. Fire this bad boy up. Let's let's hear it. Oh. Do it again. Wow, that wasn't even like giving it the beans. <laughs> what? That's not even giving it the beans. I did it wrong. No, I was saying it's loud, and you're not even giving it the beans. No, I'm, that's because there's people around. It is cold out here. Yeah. 
Way colder here than it is at home. Yes. I like those shoes you got on. Thanks, I bought them on sale. Okie dokie. I'll follow you. Do not enter. That's like saying, don't do enter, it. everybody. <laughs> but you might as well do it because you know you're going to now. Wow. That's a cool little car. Look at you ducking and diving that thing. <laughs> Good job. Ooh, that was all there. Way to go, that's for sure. So worth the money. So when we were down in Florida, it was warm, but one of the nights we rode back to Orlando from Daytona, it got down into the 40s, and I had my heated liner on and a Dixon flannel, and I was fine. Some of the Floridians were cold. Yeah, but they're not used to that. No. Which was understandable. If they had the heated liner, they yeah. wouldn't be as cold. Of course, they won't need a heated liner because of, you know, they're in Florida, but it would come in handy, even if you're in Florida, is what I'm saying, I guess. So that's the story on Miss Stevie's exhaust. That's part of the story on Miss Stevie's plans for the year. Um, anything else you want to, you want to add in there? Oh, I'm just excited. I mean, so many things has happened over this last year that you know, life takes a turn and you just go with it and I'm ready to meet back up on <laughs> on riding again. Yeah, me too. I might have a little bit of a trip planned too, depending on how some days off fall. <laughs> but, I'm excited uh, for you. We are doing GPMM this year. Our Jan uh, June 3rd details to come, but everybody start planning that. I know Two Wheels already got plans to be there. Um, Married on Two Wheels will be there. They're also going to um, help a lot more than what they think they're going to. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise, you guys are in charge. <laughs> Just kidding. Tell us when to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, uh, Blacktop Devil. He's got he's got it penciled in. Don't know if he'll be there or not. Maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll bring his van and they'll load up their bike on a trailer. You know, because they got a trailer queen now. Because <laughs> Heather gave us so much crap for trailering our bike places that she doesn't <laughs> even know how much. No, I'm just kidding. I understand. You know what I want to do? I want to say congratulations to Jennifer Hoffman and Redbeard. Do you not know? For what? They're expecting. Oh, I knew about their baby. Yeah, yeah. but I, we've never said anything publicly about it, so I'm excited Have for that. Have they said anything publicly about it? Yes. Oh, okay. That's how I found out. Okay. Congratulations, Mom there? and Dad. I don't know where we're at. Oh, yeah, I do. So guys, if you like this video, please push that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe, but also hit that bell notification so you know when we load up next time. And until next time, stay cool. We will see you on the road. Come on. You're supposed to do it. While you're gone on your bunk ride or whatever, you'll come back and I'll have some stuff done. Woman, <laughs> no more shaking your head at me. <laughs>